Hey guys, I need Dodge Six and Three. Welcome back to Mars CSL. Five, anyway, guys, four, today I gotta show you guys two, about the yes. hammer, but I call it the slash hammer. Well, if I don't, that's his real name. But in CSL, he just call hammer. Anyway, to buy the hammer, you Ten, can get heavy nine, zombie. Eight, that's how to get heavy zombie and the hammer. Five, but you need use real money to buy. Three. My well, good thing CSO turned all the real money to fake money so I can buy with weather when I want. So yeah. Hey, the hammer is useful to destroy object. And it very fast destroys an object. And the good thing about the hammer, it was his high damage. Anyway, just like Nata, uh, if you use the hammer against zombie, it will be very high damage. And if you right click, you can smash your opponent and your opponent can push behind which is very very useful even though he's a tank type zombie you can push him even though he's very heavy which is very very useful so yeah well anyway if the hammer's facing like those light type zombie or those normal type zombie it can push them even though you do it right click which is very useful and with the hammer, it was much useful than any type of small weapon. Reason because you doing to aim, you still can smash your opponent if they just right in front of you. And you have a lot of chance you can hit your opponent very easily. Anyway, if your opponent is like that uh really over your time, I'm making video here, stop putting those traps, which I call it creep. Again, really. <sighs> anyway, the slash hammer, if you mix it with the shotgun, it will be very easy to take down your opponent. All you just need to do is slow down them, and then once they get close to you, and then just twist your hammer, and make sure you are in the right click mode, and then when you do everything correct, yeah. Anytime now. You can hit your opponent when they. Really? You know what? Just go to hell all your time. Anyway, I test this out thing, which is if your opponent using the explosion and just blow you away, you don't need slash hammer anymore. Even though you just switch your slash hammer, your opponent is too far away, so you can't even smash them except they are close to you. But most likely not. Anyway, the slash hammer is useful to smash your jack, you want this a graveyard. So uh, yeah, one smash and the graveyard will just destroy. And not just destroy like the normal way, it will create high explosion which is very useful for your guys that like the teamwork and use the explosion to push your guy far away as high as to the sky. Yep, that's how far away you can push. Anyway guys, since you guys use bloody blade and deadly shot, you can create a very huge damage even in the head. But I don't know why I still haven't taken down an opponent and that you will waste a lot of energy which is not the thing that I want so it's um your guys use it one by one. Anyways your guys right click the time your guys will move very very really, really slow. But if you use speed boots you can run way fast and you can keep pushing your opponent which is very really, very really useful. So I can keep running and keep pushing my opponent and then take down him as fast as I can. So yeah. Just keep doing that, and then your opponent just like how can you use hammer while smashing him very very fast with high speed, high speed. And the only way to stop your opponent that using hammer is to use trap. Anyway, guys, just like Skull Knight, the slash hammer it will be very useful against this old wall or boxers, whatever you call it. Well, anyway, if your guys use the slash hammer or hammer. To destroy a wall, it'll be very high damage and very very fast destroy. But it's very slow, so not that useful. You can make it faster by right click, but 
It's still not that fast against zombie. Because when you kill zombie, you need to take down them in one second. You can't take down them in two seconds or le more than two seconds because that will be too slow. As you guys can see, I can push them and I cannot run really fast, which is not that useful. And that time I'll be so well, and I need to change to other weapon and get out of there. So yeah, if you guys want to use a slash hammer or scout knife or other type of mini weapon to destroy those wall, you need your friend to cover your guys. You need to stick with your gun forever. So yeah, just keep using the hammer if you guys want to use it to kill zombie and make sure guys don't be over well. But seriously, who will slash hammer in CSO? Hmm, let me see. Well, I don't know. So yeah, thanks for watching my video. If you guys like this video, give a like and why not subscribe. It's the only time I can show you guys more about Smash Hammer, but I forgot to record the front part. Oh well, I don't think you guys need to know too much, so yeah. Anyway, thanks for watching guys, and thanks for all your time for helping me. His computer is finally re been repaired. Oh well, thanks for watching guys, and I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching guys. Oh yeah, that's not all your time ID, that's his friend ID. So yeah. Man, if I right click, I can cause myself not to be oh well, I I can kill like 3 layers of them right in front of me. Which is anyway, so Amanda is the most accurate gun you are. It's one of the most accurate guns. Actually, all of the flamethrower